driving away from our, our lodge. lodge and we have a clear view of Mount Cook this morning, which you see here first time. for the first time in the three days that we've been staying on Lake Pukaki. Uh, we can confirm that Mount Cook exists and it's pretty tall. We uh, got up at 5 a.m. and looked at the stars after the moon set. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, and uh, it gave us a clear view of the Magellanic Clouds, both the large and the small. And we could see a lot of a the lot Milky of Way stars. galactic plane. I saw and four shooting stars last night, four the night before. And um, the Milky Way Galactic Center. Which, yeah, basically the moon was a big uh, contaminating light source that prevented us from seeing a lot of stars, but once uh, once the moon went away and set, then we could see a lot more. Yeah. So now we're driving to toward um, Lake Tikapo, Tikapo and um, and heading up to Christchurch to catch our flight. It is our last day uh, in the wonders of New Zealand. Yep. So, Aaron Rody's driving. Um, on the left. We're getting adjusted to this whole driving on the left thing. I think it'll be hard to go back to I don't. Uh, driving on the right. Hello, Laura. Hello. We, we are, are at the top of Mount John where there is uh, an observatory looking over Lake Tikapo and Lake Ale Alexandrina. Um, it's a clear day, unlike when we were here previously. Um, and we didn't come all the way up here before because it was closed. But there's um, an observatory that's run by University of Canterbury and a nice little cafe that has the... Um, Southern Hemisphere's highest altitude mailbox. So that was cute. Laura sent a postcard. I sent a postcard, and um, and we had some lunch, and uh, it's very beautiful up here. Yep. And now we're gonna go drive, probably all the way to Christchurch. To Christchurch, which is about three hours away, um, taking us north on the South Island. Okay. That's about it. Hello, Bye. Laura. Hello. We've made it to Christchurch. We are in Christchurch in a park, North Hagley Park, specifically. In the Central Rose Garden. The even Central Rose Garden. More specifically. Surprisingly, for uh, you know their fall, they actually have a lot of roses. Yeah. Including this giant one that is. Well, made this of one metal. is made of metal, yes. but some of the others are not. But. Yep. Yep. And there's a nice Victorian era looking building. Really Everything high. here is named after Victoria or Albert, it seems. So. Yep. Well, and we've the made sun it. Is setting. Yep. Our final night in. In New Zealand. In New Zealand. See you later. Bye. Bye.